Troll cursed corruption lurks here. Asked about this lad, my friend. I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Avendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. So, is the wedding here? When you spoke of a marriage feast, Gunnar, I hoped it would be at home. No, no, no. We're here for the festival and blessings. Bridget's hand must be given. You know me, Eivor. I'm forged in honor. Whose blessing? I see no pitchfork-shaking father or weeping mother. 
<laughs> Glau Ashistus Elderman Kunan. He helped raise Briggs and she was a pup. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? That mom and dad carried Evan Gillard and Anon. Couldn't help Drews me. Briggs and Ma and Pa were the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air see a gumpas gillet. That's a vergal, please, Sal. Right? No daylight to waste, then, huh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. Hmm. <laughs> and the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger? They come from all over to celebrate Sawin. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Sawin? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. There is the elder man, Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? The way people here talk... Kunan's boots will be hard to fill, and your feet look small. <laughs> All good friendships often start with wit bubbles. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? <laughs> Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowing. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So, you've come to meet the family, before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. 
Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sound. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few. Liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Canom your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hair? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Spell the swine! <laughs> Thank you, for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivity. Here I 
them. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were accosted by a group of boars. Odd, but Path and I usually surf. To the Brevo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Ni gwisgol am fel ysbrydion yn creatures o the veil. De bag for treats. Glow as yes to gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I have only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louvre. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Louvre, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat cannot make me sing on command. Shay. Gunner. God's read. What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sowing night and the moon is high. Mary Lewid haunts my door. The air is chilling and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Oh, ghosts and beasties. Here, spirit, take your reward. Playing the role of trickster spirit. Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gym. Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road from my abode, there is an open veil. Hope to God this Mary Lewis doesn't fail. Oh, have a cake for your troubles then. Ah, lads getting into their cups, scaring the wee ones. Good! Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar. My cakes. Zunin, guide me. <laughs> Gunnar. Oh, Damn the cloth is. Take your false god. You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunnar, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hooden more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ in tall. Take it! It's you lot we should be burning alive! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glowerchester? They know how to have fun. Die! 
force reared my leg. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a gumpas to patch this land. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire, but I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I give me strength. My mom Modren is known I'm a humor towish Gudran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tempter's shoulders. Modron, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. With bitter ale and sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars, Gwilym. Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Abbey babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearths and humid eyes, it is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. Chester is at stake. I will not leave these lands to one who laps like a cat. <laughs>
Farts Tesla. <laughs> this merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Of all the Eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. A toast, then. To Elderman Coonan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. this? Water? I feel like Thor chugging oceans. No effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the man. Give him something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Tefter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah, the greatest, greatest oath, and the greatest union. To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> shh, shh, shh. People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. <sighs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are. Right inside here. Tefter! Tefter! Hefter! Where are you?
Hell's breath. What happened last night? Oh, and the effects of that draft still cling. Defter, are you here? Defter's bodyguard. Killed by knife. This part is broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefters, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. Throat's been cut. Muddy footprints. Someone was hiding back here. Open this door! Come out of there! Willem's pouch. I wonder if it still has a little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here. Lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tefta. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Quillen's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Quillen's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. meaning of this blood soaking our soil and your weapon coated in the same kunan please more has happened here than you can see give me a right to parley my innocence i should have heeded tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests and now he has paid with his life with tevder gone glowichester will be without an elderman eye for an eye your raven clan will lose their chieftain get the murderer <laughs>
Mother. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem put some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Smash the houses! Can't have gotten far! Damn Christ, sons, what is it they want now? They make this place unlivable for pagans. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later. Spirit! 
You have finally come. Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. There be cacophony! One more! One more! They roar! Do you hear them? A chorus of fire! That should be the last one. Back to the druid. Speak to me, O oh wind! I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which is the charm that weds souls? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. This dagger is placed upside down. Hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. Speak to me, O oh wind. Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Which is the charm that weds souls? 
The charm of the double spoon. Yes. Such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic nut wards off harm. A secure nut indeed. Only one of light need not fear it. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to your question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep, I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuth Lodrin. Kuth Lodrin? <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halwyn. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Kuthlatron. Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby.